let's have a look at Salt Creek. In this arrangement I'm using the floating technique. This is also called harp style guitar. And the whole point about this concept is to have more strings ringing together so we have a bigger sound, a fuller sound. Let me give you an example. If I have a phrase that goes like... Uh, I can go... You, you see the difference? So this is called floating and I did this arrangement that you can use when you're playing by yourself or you can also uh, steal a few of the ideas that you will find here and uh, use them in your regular version of Salt Creek. Alright, so let's go with the very first phrase. So this is the typical phrase, right, that we usually play like this. And again we are using the floating technique, so... We have all those strings ringing together. Very simple, slowly. You see I'm not lifting the ring finger here. You want to hold down your fingers as long as possible, whenever it is possible. Then the second phrase. So after this first phrase, I just don't need the I don't need the index finger anymore and I will add my pinky here on the fifth string and I'm ready to go. Slide back, open D. One more time. Okay, now the next phrase is just like the first phrase. Okay, now we need the, the last run that goes. This is a beautiful run, so instead of going... like this. So let me do it, do it slowly. See, I'm holding the pinky down, like this. Then I go to the third fret, add my ring, lift my index, and the ring finger is still down. lift my ring finger when I play the open G string. So you have to synchronize your movements and it takes a little bit of practice. Then we shift here to the seventh position. We play the last four notes and the ending G note. Now look, when I'm playing this open G, I lift my fingers because I don't want to have those sounds going on. You hear that? That dissonance? It's not very nice, right? So in this case, we want to lift the fingers. We lift the fingers to avoid that clash. So one more time from the top of the A part. For the B part now. B part starts with a slide from, from the F chord 
with the G chord, like this. Actually, we only use two fingers, index and middle finger on the second and third string. And we slide from the F chord to the G chord. Just like that. Nice phrase that is using a, a weird fingering. Look at my fingering here. Finger off, and then my middle finger goes from from the second string to the fourth string. Fingers off. Let me do it one more time slowly. Okay, now we go to an F run that goes. And again, we have the F chord here, right? The F triad here. This is my root, the F note. And I play the first string downward and the second string upward. See, I keep going back and forth, first, second, first string, second string. Pinky, ring, index, open. Now I'm ready to go back to the first run of the B part. So, so I just repeat that, right? So, B part again. I go to the F. And I go back to G. Now we're ready to play the last run. Is taking the place of the first ending you know in the in the a part we played and we have a little variation you see that so let me do it again we have a couple of pickup notes like this and then pinky index pinky open now we shift position middle finger that's important use the middle finger on the third string seventh fret this is something to practice and you you should visualize where the middle finger goes like this okay do it over and over and then open second, ring finger, the middle finger is still down, ring finger, on the fourth, slide, open, open, nine, seven, open. One more time. Pinky, index, pinky, open, middle finger, open, slide, open, open, nine, seven, 